Welcome, I'm going to show you how to share a document or share your screen during a Zoom meeting. So the first thing is that you should have your PowerPoint presentation open and have it up as a window on your desktop. Then you need to make sure that you navigate to Zoom and enter the class that you're supposed to be in. And when you get there and it's your time to present, there's a green button here that says share screen. Click on that and it will open up a window that has options for what can be shown. And so you can show your desktop, there are other plugin options, and then anything you have up and open on your computer as a file, doesn't matter if it's PowerPoint, Word, whatever, you will should be able to see here. If you can't see it here, make sure that it is an open file and that it is up on your screen, not minimized um, on the menu bar at the bottom and you pick what you want. If you want to share your desktop, that shows everything that's on your desktop, so be aware of that. If you choose just the file, it'll present just the file. So in this case, I'm going to show you presenting the file. You select it, it'll turn blue, and if you have a video clip that you need to share, there's two buttons at the bottom that you can push to share computer sound and optimize it for a video clip. So if you have a video, you definitely want to click both of those. If you don't have a video, leave them off. Um, otherwise, it will include computer sounds when it doesn't need to. Then you click Share, and it will share the PowerPoint. And if you have any kind of animation or transitions, you definitely need to put it into presenter mode for the PowerPoint, which is down here. It looks like a little... Um, old school board that you can present on, right? And so you go to slideshow and then that presents it full screen for everybody and you can't see notes or uh, you know the next slide coming up. And you just advance using your arrow forward, arrow back, or using your cursor clicking forward, clicking back. And down here, you can see the forward and back for navigating with your cursor instead of using the arrows on your keyboard. When you are done, up at the top, it should say Stop Share. You want to click that, otherwise you'll continue to share everything and other people may need to use it.